Hey, this is Andrew Rains with Apex Pro. We're going to talk about the new Apex Pro OBD2 interface and how to use it with your vehicle. To use the new Apex OBD2 interface, we need to update our app to version 7.2.0 on your iOS device. So check the App Store if you don't auto update your apps for the latest version. That's going to create or give you the opportunity to use the OBD2 dashboard that you'll see on the home screen of the app. So when we're using our OBD2 port, uh, we need to first locate the vehicle's OBD2 port. Uh, it's going to usually be under the driver's side um, footwell somewhere in this car, the E46 M3. There's a little cover for it right here. Just look for the connector that is the, uh, you know, the male version of this guy right here. That's what you're going to plug it into. Once I've got it plugged in, I'm going to push it firmly, make sure that it's attached, and then I'm going to turn the vehicle on. So our OBD2 module is installed in the vehicle's OBD2 port. Now I'm going to connect to the OBD2 interface just like we would connect to our Apex Pro unit. I'm going to tap on OBD2 dash, pull down, and then we're going to look for Apex OBD2. Note the signal strength next to it. This top one has a couple of blue bars next to it. That's the one plugged into my vehicle. When you tap it, you're going to get a loading icon. Make sure you let that load and open up the app, open up the dashboard for you because it's going to go ahead and research your vehicle's VIN number. It's going to auto-populate some of the gauges. It's just going to make the whole process a lot easier, so just wait for a second while it loads. All right, so now we're connected to our OBD2 unit. I'm going to tap OBD2 dashboard. Give it a second and it's going to start displaying some of our gauges. So we got engine RPM, our MAF airflow, vehicle speed, coolant temperature, intake air temperature all displayed here. As I mentioned before, depending on your vehicle, you'll see different gauges displayed here. If you tap a gauge and it's not a gauge that your OBD2 communicates, you'll get an unavailable notification. If you want to turn a gauge off, simply tap it and you can disable the gauge. To re-enable it, just tap it again. Nice and easy. At the bottom, you'll see the VIN lookup, so it will identify your vehicle. That will be used for um, your performance recording and to help you diagnose check engine lights. If you need to look at a check engine light, tap to scan. That's going to research and see if you have any check engine lights. Uh, you'll be able to clear them. It'll actually look them up for you online to see what they are. Lastly, we've got our zero to 60 timer. This is an awesome new feature to go out and test the acceleration performance of your vehicle. You'll see your speed and your RPM here. It'll also record the max RPM that you get to. Once you record a zero to 60 time, you can log the distance, the RPM, or the time that it takes. To start the, the timer, just tap, uh, tap press to begin. Then it'll wait for you to accelerate, and that'll start the timer. You can compare that with your friends. Make sure you do that on a closed course. Um, so that's the, all the feature set of the new Apex Pro OBD2 interface. Really hope you enjoy it. It pairs directly with our app. You can connect to this and the Apex Pro hardware, no problem, and log all that information right here.